When news broke of Sterling Brown's controversial arrest, the Bucks were quick to back their guy. We ended up uh, coming down on Sterling's side. Uh, simply because we knew him as a person. Bucks owner Mark Lazary shared the decision at the Bucks Kings Team Up for Change event to promote social justice. Also on the panel, Mark Thompson, who is suing the city of Milwaukee on Brown's behalf. The city has to admit, legally in court, that this was a racist attack. And I, you can't heal until there is accountability. Thompson told the audience Brown's arrest was dangerously close to becoming another Stefan Clark situation. He's the unarmed man shot dead by Sacramento police in 2018, prompting massive protests. And although there's been no decision on the officer's use of force in that case, Sacramento's chief has already implemented change, revealing his officers must read and be tested on a 2017 book called The Post-Traumatic Slave Syndrome before they can be promoted. If you don't understand what an officer goes through on a traffic stop, then it's a little harder to understand why you need to do these things. And the same for a police officer. If he doesn't understand the circumstances of growing up in Oak Park or, or what the norms of that community are because they're not from that community, that's a problem. Derek, let's talk about that lawsuit for a moment. What is the status of Brown's lawsuit against the city? Well, Mark Thompson said uh, depositions of police officials will, be, will begin in the coming weeks here in uh, March. Meanwhile, the city attorney's office did not respond to Mark Thompson's uh, comments you saw there in that piece. But if Sterling Brown should win that federal lawsuit, his attorney says the money would go towards a foundation, which Brown and his brother, who's also a former NBA star, they developed for children. Patrick? Derek Rose reporting live in Milwaukee tonight.